Welcome to the training flight on the radar warning receiver and countermeasure systems of the F-15C. The F-15C's Tactical Electronic Warfare System, or TWOS, is a powerful built-in system that provides electronic detection and identification of surface and airborne radar threats, as well as active radar jamming. The mission is currently paused. Press the spacebar to continue. The first component of the TWOS we'll cover is the RWR. This system passively detects when the aircraft is being illuminated by other radars and presents this information to you in the TWOS display at the top right of the instrument panel, highlighted. This is a useful system because, unlike your radar, it allows you to detect threats without alerting them to your presence. Also, unlike your radar, it provides 360 degrees of coverage. The TWOS presents a top-down view of the area around you. You're in the center with your nose pointing towards the top. Symbols on the TWOS display indicate the direction and signal strength, not range, of contacts. The TWOS display also classifies contacts by type and status. Known airborne and ground radar types are identified by different codes. See the manual for a list of codes. A hat symbol above the code means it's an airborne radar. For example, 15 without a hat means an SA-15 SAM radar, but a 15 with a hat means an F-15. The highest threat contact is inscribed by a diamond. A semicircle is added above the most recent contact. A flashing semicircle or circle is added to a contact that is supporting a missile launch. Active radar missiles, which are missiles that have their own radar instead of relying on the launch aircrafts, are identified by the letter M inscribed by a circle. Press the spacebar to continue. The RWR will alert you of only radar-guided threats. It won't detect missiles with infrared guidance. You'll need to spot those visually. Also, if you're far from a threat, you might get an RWR indication before they actually see you on their radar. By the same token, though, when you're searching for targets with your radar, they might see you on their RWR before you see them on your radar. Press the spacebar to continue. Your RWR can't detect radars at elevations more than 45 degrees above or below you. So, for example, if you bank away from a threat and they disappear from your RWR, it doesn't mean they are no longer tracking you. They may just be in your blind spot. Although the twos can identify the type of radar illuminating you, it cannot tell whether the source is friendly or hostile. Now I'll try utilizing the twos against some actual threat contacts. When you press the spacebar, I'll unpause the mission. Autopilot is on. Adjust the throttle to about 81% RPM to maintain a speed of about 250 knots. A series of three high-pitched audio tones indicates a new threat has been detected. This contact is a ground-based EWR station identified on the TWOS display as S. Being illuminated by a ground radar is referred to as a mud spike. On the TWOS display, the semicircle above the contact means that it's the most recent contact, and the diamond means it's the highest priority threat. An intermittent chirp tone means that your RWR is detecting a radar in search mode, but you are not being locked on. You can change your RWR mode to show only locked radars. Try this now by pressing right shift R. The contact is no longer shown since it was only in search mode. Switch back to showing all contacts by pressing right shift R again. We now have an additional contact. A MiG-31 is inbound from the southwest at beyond visual range, identified on the twos display as a 31 with a hat. The semicircle and diamond indications have switched to this contact to indicate it's the most recent and highest priority threat. The faster chirping sound means that the RWR has detected a threat locking onto you. Also, the AI airborne intercept warning light at the top of your instrument panel is now on, indicating you are currently being illuminated by an aircraft radar, which could be friendly or hostile. Being illuminated by an airborne radar is referred to as a spike. Continue flying straight ahead. a radar-guided missile against you. Your TWOS display will indicate this by a flashing circle around the 31, and an audio launch warning will sound. I've disabled the MiG. Our next contact will be a SA-15 SAM system at close range. Monitor the RWR indications and note that the SAM warning light at the top of the instrument panel will illuminate, indicating your RWR is detecting a SAM radar. Disabled the SA-15. Next, we'll talk about another useful component of the TWOS, the ALQ-135 Internal Electronic Countermeasures, or ECM, system. 
This system attempts to jam other radars and prevent them from tracking and locking onto you. However, it also broadcasts your presence to everyone, so you should keep it turned off if you're trying to maintain an element of surprise. To toggle the operation of your ECM, press E. Do this now. Notice the blinking X at the center of your 2's display. This indicates the ECM is warming up, which takes about 10 seconds. Once your ECM is operational, the X will become solid. The last component of the 2's we'll cover is expendable countermeasures in the form of chaff and flares. These are released from the aircraft to attempt to lure away radar and infrared guided missiles respectively. Press the spacebar to continue. Your remaining chaff and flare quantities are indicated at the top right of your MPCD, which is located on the left of your instrument panel. Chaff is useful when a missile is at your 3 or 9 o'clock. In this situation, the relative speed of the missile to you and your chaff is similar, confusing the missile. If the missile is ahead of or behind you, though, the missile will not have much trouble discerning you from your slower chaff. When chaff is released, the word chaff will light up in your countermeasures dispenser lights located to the right of the tube's display. You can release a single bundle of chaff by pressing insert. Do this now. If you spot a missile launch with no corresponding RWR warning, there's a good chance it's an infrared guided missile. Try to get the missile coming towards your flight path at a perpendicular angle and dispense flares. When flares are dispensed, the word flare will light up in your countermeasures dispenser lights. If you see the word minimum light up there, it means you're getting low on chaff and or flares. Release a pair of flares now by pressing delete. You can release chaff and flares simultaneously by pressing Q. You can also set your tooth to continuously dispense both chaff and flares. This is useful when you're evading an incoming missile but are too concentrated on other tasks such as getting into a firing position while performing evasive maneuvers to be distracted by manually dispensing chaff or flares. Activate continuous countermeasure dispense mode. Although in this lesson we flew straight and level towards hostile contacts, that's obviously not the best course of action in battle. Your first line of defense should always be good mission intelligence and threat avoidance. Study the route and target area prior to the flight and plan to avoid all known threats as much as possible both horizontally and vertically. When engaged, you may be able to simply turn and run the other way if the shooter is at relatively long range. At close range, your best bet will be to make good use of the twos to actively counteract threats, plus defensive maneuvering. In general, this means putting an incoming missile at your 3 or 9 o'clock, diving towards the ground, and making a high G turn as the missile closes in to try to break the missile's seeker lock or simply exhaust its energy potential to keep up with the turn. This concludes the training lesson of the countermeasure system of the F-15C. You can press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the mission.